welcome to another episode of Review and Review. On today's episode, Dan Hao and Dan will not be here to join us, so the three of us will be reviewing the product. And today's product that we'll be reviewing is Panasonic's new hairdryer with nanotechnology that's called the EHNA98. Okay, so let's get into it and unbox this hairdryer. So this the hair dryer is actually 1,800 watts and it is really special because the number one thing that you realise is that the hair dryer is foldable. And the second thing is that you see the built-in quick dry nozzle and the easy clean filter at the back. The hair dryer also comes with a set nozzle. So that's it. So what's so special about this hair dryer? Well actually this hair dryer has nanotechnology and double minerals. So you know when you're out in the sun, like your hair can be damaged by UV rays and also when you're brushing it, it puts a lot of stress on the hair. So by having both of these, it keeps your hair healthy and moisturised. Also, nano refers to ultra-fine water particles that contains a lot of moisture and also together with the double minerals, it will help to tighten your hair cuticles which helps you to achieve healthier hair. So actually, this hair dryer has four different modes. It has the hot and cold alternating mode, the scalp care mode, the skin care mode, and the intelligent temperature controlling mode, each mode serving its own different function. Wow, that sounds too good to be true. A hair dryer that moisturises while drying. So why not we test it and see if it really works? So who wants to be the lab rat? It's me, right? Alright guys, so right now I'm back with wet hair and I've actually already separated my hair into two sections because... I'm going to use Brand X to dry her hair. And I'll be using the Panasonic EHNA98 on her hair. So for the first mode we'll be using is the hot and cold alternating mode. And this hot and cold alternating mode actually automatically switches from hot air to cold air. This will actually add luster and soft glow to her hair. So we're going to start now. I have been blow drying my hair for about 1 to 2 minutes now and I do see a difference in both sides. So this side, when Debbie was blowing it, it was actually a very comfortable temperature. It was a little bit warm but then it quickly switches to a cooler temperature every now and then. Whereas on the other side, when Sierra was blow drying my hair, it was actually really warm and I'm sure she felt it on her palms as well when she was drying it. So yeah, this difference is actually very obvious when it comes to blow drying your scalp. So this side of my scalp was really like a a little bit in pain because the heat was really strong. Whereas on this side, it was very comfortable and I actually really liked it. And actually, I can kind of notice a difference. You see on this side of her hair, it's curled. But then on this side of the hair, it's straight. And this one looks a lot more tame and less frizzy. So I think that must have had something to do with the hot and cold alternating mode. So to the touch of it, the right side actually feels slightly more dry than the left side. So the next mode we'll be using is actually the scalp care mode. And to set the scalp care mode, you just set it to power 1 to 3. Click this button three times and it will actually show a green light appear on the scalp. So for this scalp care mode, the nanotechnology actually adds moisture so it reduces dryness for people with scalp issues like dandruff. So let's get to it. I only have one mode. So now her hair is almost dry, but to make it a fair experiment, Debbie and I are going to switch positions to make sure that our hair drying techniques, you know, balance out. Alright, now that my hair has completely dried, here are some of my own thoughts. Sierra was drying my hair with the Panasonic hair dryer. I actually felt like my scalp was at a very comfortable temperature, like it wasn't too hot and it wasn't very irritable because you know that when you dry your scalp and your hair, Sometimes it gets a bit too drying, a bit too hot and so your scalp will feel a little bit itchy and, and irritated afterwards. But this was actually very comfortable for me because uh, I learned that they actually maintain the temperature for the scalp care function at 50 degrees. Whereas for Debbie's Brand X on the other hand, it was very drying on my scalp. It was very very hot and it was actually a bit uncomfortable when she was drying my hair. Especially uh, sometimes when it hit the back of my ears. So yeah, it was a very big contrast. So now we're going to use the third mode which is the skincare mode and you're supposed to use this after you dry your hair for about a minute where you just take this and then like blow it in front of your face. So before we begin, we're going to use a skin analyzer test on Jasmine's forehead to see her moisture level and oil level. I'm scared. Monitor came out red which means it's not so ideal and her moisture level is 23% while her oil level is 34%. So let's try to use the skincare mode and see if it makes a difference. It feels like a very 
very cool air on my face, like a very nice breeze. I don't actually feel like my face is getting wet with like moisture, but I do feel my face getting cool. So it has been a minute since Sierra has used a skincare function on my face, and right now Debbie is going to be using the same skin analyzer test to test my skin for the second time and see if there's any difference in my moisture level. So after taking the moisture reading, her moisture level actually increased by 10%, and that's quite a lot. And it's quite unexpected for a hair dryer to be able to do that. So I think it's a very interesting feature that you guys should try. And so the last mode on this is the built-in temperature control mode. So in this mode, there is a built-in ambient temperature sensor which senses the temperature of your surroundings and adjusts the temperature of the hairdryer accordingly. So let's say you're in a very dry climate, then this will become more moist. And if you're in a very moist climate, then it will become more dry. And so it will adjust accordingly. So it's really good for travel and like switching between different climates. So any final thoughts? I think my favourite part about this product is actually the hot and cold alternating mode. It really makes a quite a big difference on how frizzy her hair looks and how comfortable it is to dry her hair. So I like that. And what about you? Uh, I quite like the fact that it has a skin mode also because I've never seen a hair dryer with not only the ability to dry your hair but also the ability to moisten your face. So I thought that was quite cool. What I really like about the hair dryer according to what Sierra said earlier on is that it has an intelligent temperature control. So for someone who travels a lot like me, uh, I think that comes in handy when it comes to you know drying my hair in different climates. Not only that, it's really easy to pack as well because it folds. So yeah, I really like these two aspects of the hair dryer. So I would give this hair dryer a 4 out of a 5 because it is really efficient and it's very powerful like just now when we were drying her hair, it dried super fast and all the different modes are something I've never seen in a hair dryer before, so yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think I'll give it a 5 out of 5 just based on what it promised to deliver. So it did everything that it said it would do and it actually surpassed my expectations, so yeah, I think it's a really great product to bring around. So for me, I'll give it a 4 out of 5. I think this product is generally very, very good. But one thing that I don't really like is the colour and I wish they had more options. So, go Panasonic, make more colours. <laughs> so this hair dryer retails for $399 and you can get it at the following stores below. Thank you Panasonic for sending this hair dryer to us and letting us try it. We love it very much. So we've come to the end of this episode of Review and Review. So leave us a comment down below on what you would like to see on the next episode. And remember to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.